in our judgment they will succeed and we will support them for so long as it takes. My Lords, um, just following on from the Labour Lord, the Minister's marks, I have to say that having visited uh, Irpin and Buka and met some of the defenders and survivors of those towns where the Russian advance on Kyiv was stopped, I very much echo those comments about the Ukrainian people who are the ones bearing the enormous human uh, weight um, that we have to keep acknowledging. Um, but my question follows on from comments from the Noble Lord, uh, Lord Newby, and the Noble Lady uh, Baroness Smith. Um, a word that's missing from this statement, shockingly, I think I would have to say, the word climate does not appear in this statement. And that's despite the fact that the Integrated Review of Security, Defence, Development and Foreign Policy, the refresh as well, say that Britain will make a major priority of its international efforts to, quote, leading globally on climate change and biodiversity loss. And that's despite the fact that a large amount of the coverage of the G7 very much focused on its failures on climate. To just quote one Financial Times headline, quote, G7 disappoints on climate progress without deadlines on gas and coal use. And this is in the climate of what was happening in the world as the G7 was meeting. Italy and Croatia, Ethiopia, Kenya and Somalia all suffering significant deadly floods. Canada, unseasonal wildfires that have burnt an area uh, the size of Wales. Uh, India facing even more potentially deadly temperatures that are unsurvivable. Um, can the Noble Lord the Minister explain to me how it came to be that the word climate in that context did not appear in this statement? My Lords, I, I have in the past written statements for, for Prime Minister. The Prime Minister writes his own statements, but if the Noble Lady uh, reads Hansard, she would find that there was a substantial uh, discussion of these matters. And as I said in my response um, to the very legitimate question from the Noble Lord, Lord Newby, and from the Noble Baroness opposite, um, the importance of green transitions was uh, reaffirmed. Um, and um, that uh, we are committed to increase support for renewables. Um, as I said, the G7 ended public support for the fossil fuel uh, energy sector in 2022 and continues to advance uh, on that in its uh, am ambitions. And my lords, I sometimes when I hear the noble lady, uh, one forgets that we were the first major economy to legislate to end our contribution to climate change by 2050. One forgets, listening to the noble lady, that our 2030 nationally determined contribution is the, one of the most ambitious contributions in the world. One doesn't hear from her that between 1990 and 2021 we've cut emissions by 48% while growing our economy by 65%. One doesn't hear from the noble lady that we've decarbonised faster than any other G7 country and we're set out to be an exemplar for others. The government support is accelerating production of clean energy. 2022 renewable and electricity generation accounted for 41.4% of total electricity generation. Why doesn't the noble lady who believes so passionately in these things sometimes help to talk up what we're achieving yeah, instead of constantly yeah, talking yeah, it down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 